Hello Sagittarius, how you doing? I hope you are really well. Um, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. You're very, very welcome here. We are going to do a love reading for June slash July, but you know, it's timeless. So whenever this pops up in your feed is when the messages were meant for you. And you know, if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that so much. It really helps me out. Um, apologize for the crap shuffling. This is a new deck and it's kind of being resistant to being broken in. Um, so let's see who is coming towards you. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so right away I'm thinking maybe you have two people coming towards you. Let's see what else. Um, I'm just going to reshuffle that because I feel like I just dropped it. Uh, right away I'm thinking maybe you have a choice here between two people. Oh my god, the cards are going nuts. Okay, what else would you like? What, what else does Sag need to know about love, please? What does Sagittarius need to know about love? What does Sagittarius need to know about love? like a little bit of a blockage here yeah there's definitely like some kind of third party here but I feel like this is you have to make a choice I feel like there's three people you know you and two other people and there's look at the lovers at the bottom of the deck you have some kind of choice you need to make here some kind of huge decision between two people you're going to be happy, okay? Whatever you choose, you're going to be in some in a committed, happy relationship. So, do you know what? Don't even worry about it. Um, okay, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Well, the easiest way to do this would be, well, let's talk about these two people, okay? So one, oh my God, stop it. Okay. So one of these people is someone that you had an ending with. You have the Ten of Swords, you have the World card, and you have the Five of Pentacles. So one of these people is someone from your past that there was, you know, Ten of Swords tends to be a slightly unpleasant ending, particularly uh, coming out with that Five of Pentacles. This is someone that left you out in the cold, you know, it definitely, there was an ending. It may have been a rather fast ending, with the, the tower at the bottom of the deck here. Um, and who's the other person? The Ace of Wands, so you have someone old and someone new, someone borrowed and someone blue. <laughs> uh, give us a bit more about this new person, please. But before we carry on, I just wanna say, the fact that you have that 10 of cups, honestly, you don't need to worry because, you know, it may seem stressful, it may be like, oh my God, like, I don't want this past energy back in and like when am I going to meet the new energy? You will be in some kind of he happy, healthy, emotionally fulfilling relationship. It's just that you have to choose between these two people. So don't let it anger you, you know, that your old energy is showing up in the, in the reading. Um, okay, tell me about this new person. Oh my god, you have another ace. Um, we're just going to take that top one. So you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles for this new person coming in. So very, very passionate connection. Um, lots of physical attraction. You will be very physically attracted to one another. And with the Ace of Pentacles, it's also something very solid. This person is coming in with, you know, this Ace of Pentacles. Like, see the, the little archway down here leading to the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups. Um, tell us more about this new person coming in for Sag, please. Tell us more about this new person coming in for Sag. Definitely someone you've been waiting on for a long time. Could could be a Pisces. Um, anything else? Yeah. <laughs> you've been waiting on this person for a long time. They might be very slow. They might be another Sagittarius. The Nine of Pentacles. So this person is definitely single when you meet them. They could be a Virgo. Uh, they could be a Leo. The Moon. They... 
let me just get a little bit more Hierophant, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. You know, I feel like the, the person that's coming in, this new person, has left something else behind. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Mm -hmm. So you have the Hierophant with the uh, Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. They're coming in pretty fast. They could be a Gemini. They're coming in pretty fast, this person. They've had something in their past that did not work out the way that they wanted it to. They could have had, you know, it could be a partnership with a Taurus that didn't work out, or it could be a marriage or a long-term commitment that didn't work out. Give me a bit more on this Hierophant, please. No? Alright. Give me a bit more on this Nine of Pentacles, please. Justice. Okay, for some of you, this person is like recently divorced or recently they've left, they've been in some kind of long term commitment. It could have been a marriage or an engagement that like they kind of got their heart broken a little bit or it didn't work out the way that they wanted it to like the person may have because i saw the seven of pentacles uh, sorry the seven of swords come up earlier when i was shuffling so i'm kind of thinking that this new person was in some kind of karmic relationship like maybe they were lied to or something like that because often as well with this nine of pentacles it indicates someone who excuse me, coming out with this moon as well, they have a little bit of, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, they have a little bit of like subconscious fears and anxieties and maybe like they have like a little bit of a confidence issue but it comes from this past connection they've been in and I want, I want to say recently, like they've recently left behind something long term but they're done, <laughs> they're done. Because they don't care because look at that you have the knight of cups and the sun clarifying that justice card so they could very well be a leo they could also be a libra but you know this person like they're not gonna lie to you okay i feel like maybe the past kind of lied to you or kept you in the dark or something like this but um this new person is like a very happy positive um energy and they're looking for commitment this is someone who like they like commitment they want to be in a commitment they're coming in heart on their sleeve they want to make you happy and you know what if you want this person they will make you very happy um clarify the moon please okay that came out fast so you have the moon with the devil so they have a little bit of it's a lack of self-confidence is what i want to say like kind of getting in their own way a little bit um it's 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 this moon you know it's these anxieties and fears that have you know they're, they kind of get in their own way a little bit but they're a sweetheart this person this new person is a sweetheart um okay let's get a bit more about this past energy um Okay, you have the fool, so this person could have been an idiot. <laughs> uh, literally, that's how I'm taking that. They could have been a bit of an idiot in the past. They may have been, you know, immature. They may have messed you around. Let's see what else comes out. The Nine of Swords. They're wanting a new beginning with you, you know. Um, like with the fool, they're wanting this new beginning with you. They're very worried because they think they've screwed up and maybe they have five of wands at the bottom of the deck here um three of wands and three of swords underneath that there, it, because there was some kind of ishy ending basically they're kind of worried like i think they're having a lot of sleepless nights a lot of anxiety about this Five of Wands, like there may have been a lot of fighting or they may just have legged it 
and not told you anything. They may just have completely left you hanging. You know, left you out in the cold, left you hanging. Six of Wands, they could be a Leo. This past energy, they might get a lot of attention, okay? Um, and I don't wanna say that they're an attention seeker because the Six of Wands doesn't indicate that. It tends to indicate more someone who's just of that nature. Like they're very, you know, they like to be seen. Um, they're quite dynamic. They're usually kind of popular, like, or, or they have a lot of friends or like a lot of acquaintances anyway. And it's usually because they're always doing something. It's that kind of dynamic energy where they like to win. It's someone that likes to win. Uh, they like to be seen, you know, they like to be around people. Whereas I feel like this new energy is maybe someone a bit more introverted. I do want to say though, I do think this past energy has done a lot of work. Like with the Fool and the Six of Wands, you know, the Fool often indicates someone that has like changed things. Because the Fool, sometimes it means that you have to kind of get a new perspective or to change the way that you're doing certain things in, in order to take this leap of faith. Because sometimes like an opportunity will come and you're not really expecting it. So it's like, oh, I don't know. I can't think of an example. Like, but you know, if you were really hoping for one thing and that's what you were planning for and then something better comes, but it's slightly different and you have to kind of change certain aspects of your plan. You know, it's something like this, but they've done it. They have changed. Um, let's see a bit more on this past energy. They're very cagey, this past energy. I think they were a little emotionally um, closed off before, but you have the three of ones here, they're ready. They've put a lot of their past behind them. They're ready. Let's get a little bit more on this past energy. The death card, they could be a Scorpio. They've undergone a huge transformation, absolutely huge. You know, they may have been going through a bit of a dark night of the soul. And I feel like that was to do with an ending with you. I feel like that's why they've been through this dark night of the soul. But now the sun is coming up, you know, they, they're coming out of the other side. Let's just get one more. What else about this past energy, please? Four of Cups. So they had a bit of a fear of rejection before, okay? Possibly also from something to do with their past. I think before, I think they always knew what this was, right? Because I think you may be dealing with, um, I don't know, I don't know who you're dealing with here, but um, probably both of them are soulmates, right? So there would have been a very, close connection with this past energy. There'll also be a very close connection with this new energy because they're both soulmates. Um, one of them, this past energy could be a twin flame. That's sometimes how the twin flame journey works. Like, you know, you'll be presented with the two options, like the twin flame will return and then you'll be presented with this new soulmate energy as well. But this past energy, they always knew that this was something very special with you, it's just that they blocked it out. Because like I said, I think this person's a little emotionally, or they were like emotionally closed off, you know, and with the three of cups here, it's obviously something to do with their past, you know, maybe they were cheated on or something in the past. Okay, so let's get some messages from this new person. Well, past lives just came out. So you've had past lives with both of these people, okay? Um. Let's get some cards for this. Oh my God. Stop it. Um, what would this new person like to say? Okay. You have signs. Watch out for signs leading you to your true love. So this person feels like they've been guided towards you. They're very, very passionate about you. Um, 
they feel like this is true love. They're very excited, very, very excited. What else from this new person? Rejoice, embrace your loving connection and rejoice. So this person, like you make this person so happy. You make them feel really, really happy. Like they are so, they are overjoyed that they found you. You have temptation. So there's again, this is like the devil energy. So they're a bit of an overthinker. This is the reason that you had to wait with the hanged man and the temperance. They're very patient, very slow, very moderate in their actions. I feel very different to your past because this six of wands is not really someone that's moderate and patient. They're really, they're someone that's like, okay, let's do it. Let's go, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll do that. That sounds good. Like, let's not think about anything. Let's just go, go, go. Um, so this path that sorry this new energy they do kind of get in their own way a little bit a bit of an overthinker um right let's do the past what would the past say to sagittarius bit of a charmer this past energy you have synchronicity a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity so this person believes that you're meant to come back together they believe that it's a divine connection and they believe that something is going to bring you back together. Like, I think this person always kind of thought that you would end up together or you would, go, you would come back together somehow. You have trust. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. See, I feel like this person had no trust before. Um, they, they were very suspicious and I feel like you have no trust in them now, at least for some of you, or they're worried that you have no trust in them because they do seem to have just left you high and dry, like ghosted you. They're serious though. You have commitment. They're coming in here. They, they want commitment with you. Like they are ready now. This is what they're trying to tell you. Um, let's get some from this deck. Okay, tell me about the new, let's get some messages for the, from the new person. What would the new person say? Time. <laughs> You're trying too hard, give it time. See, they're very slow. Um, they're just a massive overthinker, this person. But they, they, they didn't want to rush into it. You know, they wanted to make sure they're kind of, they've, they've been waiting for signs. What else? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. See, they've definitely had some kind of long-term relationship they've walked away from. Um, and you're the new possibility. You know, they're very excited about this with you. They, the devil and the, like this anxiety is getting in the way a little bit, but it, it won't get in the way. I feel like this is a situation where you need to decide who you want. And then once you've done that, it'll it'll come in very fast. Do you know what I mean? Because you may have told yourself that you've decided, but you haven't. If there, you know, that's what I feel is the situation because there's still, is a, with the two of pentacles and the lovers, there's still a decision to be made here. But it may be something like you don't have all the information yet because this past energy, I feel like they never told you how they felt because they were emotionally closed off. But this time, they're coming in to tell you, <laughs> you know, they're coming in like all leveled up to offer you commitment. Um, okay, that's just a little message for you, I think. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Oh, Sag, I don't envy you. Right, let's get some, let's get one more from this new energy, please. What the hell? Um, right, hold on. Let me just pause the video because I just dropped everything everywhere. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just gonna take the two that flipped over here. So, excuse me, you have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love, <laughs> excuse me, is the greatest healer. So this person is really the new person. I think they're really looking forward to having some fun with you. 
Um, I think they're probably, they're kind of shy. Like they might be kind of quiet. I feel like the past is a bit of an extrovert and this new energy is maybe a little more introverted. Um, but I feel like you bring out playfulness within them. That's very Sagittarius energy. So they're really, really like looking forward to having fun with you. And you have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So they're very grateful that you came into their life. Um, also, I feel like this is going to happen soon. And they feel like your love is a blessing. This person has a little bit of low self-esteem. Like they've had to convince themselves that they deserve this with you. They may have even left someone else to be with you. I don't know. It's not, you know, because because it's two people. I can't really go into both like very deeply. But um, yeah, like they, I think they've had to convince themselves that they deserve this because there is a little bit of low self-esteem on this new energy's part. So let's get some messages from your past. Only time will tell. See, that's come out over this synchronicity card. So this person, they just always thought you were going to end up together. Like, I don't know why they thought that. Because they, they don't seem to have treated you very well. They seem to have just vanished. I mean, obviously it's your choice. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm just reading the cards. Like, whoever you end up with, you'll end up in a happy, healthy, committed relationship, okay? But... I feel like this person just always thought somehow you would get together again. Like there would be some kind of synchronicity, like there would be, because it's come out over the world here, so it's like they thought there would be like a cycle, you know? And I think they're maybe starting to realize now that they might actually lose you. So it's kind of scared them, it's like shocked them into action. What? Oh god, these are all back to front. What's going on with this deck? Hold on. I swear this is your past energy. They may be a little chaotic, your past energy. Because they're messing up all my cards. Right. Okay. So what else from this past energy, please? What would this past energy like to say? If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So there's a bit of a head heart dilemma with this person. Like their heart wants to be with you. Their heart knows that this is soulmate, they want to be with you, but their mind, they do have some trust issues, this past energy. You know, I, I just, they seem very closed off or they were in the past, okay? They were in the past. Um, Twin flames. Yeah, this past energy, at least for some of you, this past energy is a twin flame. Okay. For those of you that resonate with that journey. Uh, what else about this past energy, please? What would this past energy say to Sag? You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. This person's really been through a lot. Like, I think they were a bit lost, especially because you might be dealing with a bit of a, you might, you might not call it twin flame, but this past energy, you might be dealing with a bit of a runner chaser, chaser runner scenario. So this person was obviously the runner. So you're dealing with the masculine over here, um, if you resonate with that. But... I feel like at the start of the journey, they were just lost. You know, they were just emotionally closed off. They were confused. You know, they rejected you, this kind of thing. But they've done the inner work is what I would say with this person because they've come out with this three of wands. They're ready. And the death card, they've been through a huge transformation. They're still very worried that you're going to say no to them, which I don't know. <laughs> uh, for a lot of you, I think you probably will. But they feel like they've gone through all this turmoil and now the blessing is that you guys are going to get back together. I really honestly feel like this past energy, they just always thought you were going to get together. You know, they just always thought you were going to be there. 
I, I really honestly think it didn't it didn't really occur to them that you would leave. Uh, let's get one more from this past energy. No, we're done with that. Um, I'm gonna get a couple from this deck. Let's get a couple for. Let's get some for the new energy, please. This new energy is really exciting. Like the cards, they just keep bleh, coming out. I want to keep you warm under the sheets. Together we rest and indulge. This new energy is very protective. I think they would, they're very, it's like a very peaceful energy that I'm picking up from them. Like very slow, very methodical, very calm, like very, they're making me feel very secure. Like a big cuddly teddy bear. Um, I think, you know, you they're very soft it's a very soft loving energy very protective I, I really think you're dealing with someone here this new energy like they're maybe a bit more calm like introverted maybe they would like to stay inside like Netflix and chill kind of thing um, and you have as I hold your embrace I hold you close to my chest, I feel your tears. So this is definitely a cuddler. <laughs> like they really want to cuddle you. This is, they're very, they're very soft. Like very calm, very loving. I really feel there's like a very protective, like they want to cuddle you kind of energy. And let's get a couple from the past. This new energy really hopes that you're going to give them a chance. Um, and then again, this past energy is kind of obsessed with you and feels like you're their whole world. <laughs> so, I don't know. Red strings tie our hearts. The bond that connects us, nothing can break us. Yeah, this past energy feels like you are meant to be together. They feel like there's an unbreakable bond that, you know, Your hand and mine always together. So this past energy just feels like you're meant to be together. I, I don't know what to tell you, Sag. Like, it's your choice. But Spirit is saying to you, like, you already know the answer. Like, you already know what you want here. Do what feels right. So listen to your intuition, you know. But don't let it stress you out. Because either way, you're going to be in a very long... Like, either way, this is what's coming, okay? So it's like you've done all the work. And now here comes the reward, right? So I hope this was a useful reading, Sag. Uh, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it a lot. And many blessings, Sag. Love and light.